Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to divide a two-digit number by a one-digit number. And we have 108 divided by 9. Alright, so the first thing you should do is you should write down the 9 times table. So the 9 times table is 9, 18, 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 9 is 36, 5 times 9 is 45, 6 times 9 is 54, 7 times 9 is 63, 8 times 9 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81, and 10 times 9 is 90, obviously. Okay, so now that we have our 9 times table along here, this will help us work it out. So we start with our little house and we because we are dividing by 9 we write 9 outside the house sorry excuse me and now we put the 108 inside the house and we have our decimal there and there now if we continued our 9 times table here from 90, okay, we would then have 9 times 11 is 99, and then 9 times 12 is 108. Okay, so if you know your times tables, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So the first step is you write a 0 here, because 9 does not go in to 1, okay? But 9 does go into 10, and as we can see over here, 9 goes into 108 12 times. But let's pretend we don't know that. 9 goes into 1 0 times. 9 goes into 10 once. So now we subtract 9. That leaves us with 1. We bring down the 8. And now we look over at our times tables here and we see that we have 18 here so we subtract 18 and that leaves us with 0 and we did that with 2 okay okay so you can see here that we have 75 divided by 8 and I've gone ahead and written down the 8 times table along the side here from 8 times 1 down to 8 times 12. Alright, now it's also important for you to know what these different numbers are called, okay? So in maths, the first number here that you have, the number that is being divided by something else, is called the dividend, alright? And I've shown you that 75 here is called the dividend. The number that you are dividing with is called the divisor and the answer, which we don't know yet, is called the quotient. Okay? So let's go ahead and work this out and uh, you'll see how it works. Okay, so we start with our little house. Start with our little house. Okay. Now, our dividend here okay, goes inside the little house. All right. Now, um, that means that the divisor has to go outside the house, and our quotient, our answer, is going to end up up here. All right. Okay, now, first step is we look at our divisor, okay, we say, right, does 8 go into 7? Okay, well, we've got our 8 times table listed here. Do we see the number 7 listed? No, we don't. So that means we have a 0 above the 7. But now... We say, right, does 8 go into 75? Again, we look down our 8 times table. 
it doesn't go into 75 um, uh, without a remainder. Okay, the closest we can get to 75 is 72. Okay, so we write down the 72. We subtract it. Okay, but before we do anything else, we have to think, we have to ask ourselves, right, what did I do to get to that set, get that 72? What did I do to 8 to get 72? Okay, well, if you know your times tables, uh, you know that automatically that you got 9, but if you don't, then you would just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I've multiplied 8 times 9 gives me 72. Okay, so I write up here 9. 9 times 8 is 72, and now I subtract. Okay, 5 subtract 2 gives me 3. And obviously, the 7 subtract 7 leaves me a 0. So I'm not going to write anything. Okay, now it is assumed that there is a 0 here, but you don't often see it. And we don't usually write it. But it's there, so we have to bring it down. And that makes 30. Alright, now again, I look at my times tables for 8. Is there a 30 on the times tables? Well, is there, there's a 32, but that's too big. So I have to use the next one before, which is 24. Okay, so I'm going to write that. And I'm going to subtract. But before I do that, I have to ask myself, right, what did I do to 8 to get 24? Well, you can see that I multiplied it by 3. Okay, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, so I multiplied it by 3. Okay, so I'm going to write my 3 here, okay, so that 3 times 8 equals 24. Okay, so I'll write my 3, okay, and now I just do straight subtraction. 30 subtract 24 is going to be 6, and there is another zero assumed to be there, so I bring that down, and this makes 60. And now I have to look on my times tables here. Is there a 60? Well, there's a 64, but again, that's too big. So we have to use the next number before, which is 56. Okay, and we multiplied 8 by 7 to get 56. Okay, so I write my 56 here and subtract it, and I write the 7 here above the 0, so 7 eighths are 56, okay, and I'm going to write my answer here, which is going to be 4, all right, and now, you have to remember that you need to keep these digits in a nice straight line because these are the digits for the uh, units and tens. This is the tenths column, and this is the hundredths. If you don't keep the digits in a nice straight column, all right, then your answer gets confused. All right, so we'll stop there, okay? Um, so we can say that here, okay, our quotient or our answer is nine, point three seven all right now if you were if you were told that you just need a remainder okay all you need to do is look here okay we've done our working out with the whole number okay 75 and we said that 9 times 8 is 72 and we subtracted the 72 gave us 3 okay so that is what you could also write if you just need a remainder. Okay, so we could just write 9 
remainder 3. Okay? So, depending on uh, what your teacher is asking you for, either one of these two will be correct. Okay? Alright. I hope that's been helpful. Good luck.